Hi everyone, I'm Johan and I'm going to talk about the Netflix Engineering Manager interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers look at and a bunch of tips for each round. Quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This video has been put together by Netflix engineers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. They've coached hundreds of candidates successfully and can be booked directly on the website if you want to practice with them. Okay then, moving on to the interview process. The Netflix engineering manager interview process comprises of three main rounds. Number one, phone screen with the recruiter. Number two, phone screen with the hiring manager. And number three, the on-site interviews. Let's dive deeper into each round. So starting with the phone screen, it's a non-technical interview lasting 45 minutes, where the primary goal is to assess your culture fit. I have three tips for this round. It usually begins with the, so tell me about yourself prompt. So make sure you have a crisp and concise overview of yourself ready. Second, have a clear reason for why you're applying at Netflix, as well as why you think you'd succeed there. Lastly, think ahead and narrow down specific projects you'd like to discuss, basically to give insight into what your contribution was, how things went and what you learned. Make sure to align your responses with Netflix's missions and goals. Next up is the phone interview with the hiring manager. This again is a 45 minute round focusing on your management experience, technical knowledge and culture fit. I have three tips for this round. Number one, during this round, your interviewers will closely assess your people management and your leadership prowess. So. Think ahead and craft engaging narratives that highlight instances, for instance, where you've led, mentored or guided teams to achieve meaningful outcome. Go beyond the technical details and share how your decisions aligned with the broader project goals and contributed to overall business success. Tip number two, a fraction of the interview will also focus on technical aspects. So make sure to brush up on data structures, strings, arrays, etc., and algorithms. The good news is the depth of technical assessment for EMs generally isn't as intense as that of software engineering roles. Since this one's more of a managerial role than technical, you'll mostly be writing pseudocode and explaining your thought process. They'll expect you to possess basic technical knowledge and know-how so you can drive technical discussions. Finally, can't stress this enough, practice a lot. We're a mock interviews platform, so we have a biased take on this, but honestly, this isn't something you want to go unprepared into since interviews have a habit of going down tangents you can't anticipate beforehand. And it's less the content part of the practice and more the mindset that practicing with coaches can help you get into. That's the most valuable part of working with a coach. Prepfully has excellent Netflix engineering managers who provide one-on-one -on -one interview coaches. Book a slot with them in the link in the description box. Now let's discuss the on-site interview. Broadly, this encompasses two types of interviews. Technical interviews, usually two of them with senior engineers or EMs. This includes a system design round. Behavioral and people rounds, up to three of them, focusing on people management, culture, and team fit with EMs and directors. Let's dive deeper. In behavioral rounds, they're checking if you're a good fit culturally. Can you work well in a team? Are you curious? Do you have a product mindset? Basically, they're looking for folks who are super motivated and can drive products forward. They've also got this unique segment called the Dream Team Interview, where you interact with a Netflix director for 45 to 60 minutes. This one cranks up the volume on everything you'd encounter in a regular behavioral round. We're talking scale, accountability, concerns which Netflix faces, high risks, reward, etc. Questions revolve around your previous experiences, your biggest or favorite or most challenging project, as well as open-ended questions about your motivations to join Netflix. It's a bit intense, so practice is key. You can prepare for this round by playing out scenarios where you talk about challenges, figure out how you handle risks, weigh potential wins, etc. Use metrics and impact to highlight your impact in previous roles. It will accurately demonstrate the scale and complexity of your contributions. Make sure you read Netflix's culture deck to get a grip on what their culture is like, how teams work together, etc. This will help you promote yourself as the star candidate Netflix is looking for. 
Also, don't stress too much about talking to someone senior. Focus on highlighting measurable outcomes with solid metrics and impact statements. You can always practice with a Netflix EM on Prepfully to tweak your perfect response. The more you dive into Netflix's culture, values, and those unique interview twists, the more you'll be on point for these rounds. Next is the system design interview, which is again quite unique and challenging. You're basically being evaluated for your ability to design a system which solves for a specific problem, always eventually at scale. I have four tips specifically for this section. First, really make sure you're understanding the problem. I can't stress this enough. One of the most common mistakes which candidates make is to jump straight into solution mode. Make sure you clarify stuff, define a scope and articulate it. Explain what your goals are and how you're going to attack the problem. This also lets the interviewer drive you into the direction they want. Which brings me to my second point. Listen very carefully for feedback from your interviewer. They know the scope of this interview is infinite. They've got a list of themes they'd really like to cover in the interview so they can assess you across a range of topics. You'll regularly get hints such as, all right, let's assume XYZ isn't a constraint. This is your cue to move on to the next theme since they're not interested in whatever direction you're about to take. Or for instance, you might be asked specifically, how about if this is going to be accessed multiple times daily by a global pool of users? This is then your cue to go into the tangent of how you might scale your project up geographically, maybe through CDNs. These are just examples. Third then, you'll constantly be coming up with multiple ideas, or at least you should be, for the constraints you're presented with. That's a good thing. Make sure you succinctly mention them, explain trade-offs, but then make a deliberate decision and pick one. As usual, practice is key here. Ask friends for help or go to a professional platform like Prepfully to get practice with any one of the Netflix EMs who have been mentoring hundreds of candidates. Finally, there will also be times where you get stuck or don't know what the interviewer wants from you. That's all right and it happens to everyone. The only right action here is to admit that you don't know. Offer the interviewer if they want to spend some time exploring through guesswork, but don't try and bluff your way through. Finally, there is the people management slash leadership interview, which every EM candidate will encounter. Your interviewers will ask questions like, tell me about a time where you collaborated cross-functionally to eliminate a major barrier for your team, or discuss an instance where you maximized your team's productivity. So have a couple of impactful stories up your sleeve that highlight your people management skills, coaching, team building, and talent acquisition prowess. We're talking real life stuff, successes, failures, challenges, where you've navigated complexities of growing, developing, and supporting individuals in your team or organization. Right, that's all from us. Lots of additional helpful resources in the description. Don't forget to check them out. And as always, you can book time with a Netflix engineer or EM to get system design or behavioral practice against the Netflix rubric. If you found the video helpful, do like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.